Here I've got some batteries in the back of my truck, but uh, there's no good way of, of tying them down, securing them down, so I want to build a framework. I started building a frame down here for one of these rows of batteries, eight batteries in that one, and I want to build another frame for another eight. It'll be oriented a little differently. So I've got to measure some, take some measurements, cut some metal, do some welding, and then we'll go from there. It's a little crazy. And it should be 41 and a half. And it's close enough. So that's one. I need to grind these metal things off to get them all uh, the rough stuff ground off. So that's what I'm going to do now. Well, here's the finished product. I decided to add these little uh, vertical members. Eventually I'm going to have a piece of plywood or something on the bottom. And I figured since I've got two rows of batteries going across, these will act like uh, bunk boards for a bed type thing. So that's one of three frames that I have to make. Okay, well I've got a battery box here that I built. This is for the front, here's where my motor is, and I've gonna, I'm going to have four deep cycle batteries in the front here, but I'm trying to figure out a way to, to mount it. I've got it mounted to the frame on these two sides. That's not nearly as strong, uh, strong enough, because this side is going to teeter. So I've got some angle iron pieces here I've cut to length, and this one will weld up here and bolt on this side here. And then I've also got a little piece right there that I'm going to weld up and fasten it somehow. So that's what I'm going to do next here. By the way, if you ever have the opportunity to buy a cordless impact wrench, do it uh, any time, any any way you can. They are just so so slick. They're so fast. And, boy, they're just an extremely huge time saver. After a weld, there's a bunch of this uh, carbon deposits. You gotta bang off of there and it's really loud. Here's, a, here's the frame in the front that will hold another four batteries. It's all mounted and ready to go. Turned out really well. This frame is actually two frames. It's got one for holding eight batteries and one for holding another eight batteries in a different configuration. I still have to cut some boards. They'll lay down into these troughs here. The batteries will sit on top of the boards. Then I'll also have to have a way to secure the batteries, so that's still coming as well. <laughs> 